kindergarten. We're here today to read Jeannie B. Jones and the Stupid Smiley Bus. And we are, we just finished chapter five. So we are on chapter six now. And I was really excited to read this chapter because chapter five principle, it left us with kind of like, kind of a what I call a cliffhanger, which means like, it leaves you really wanting to know what's happening next. Because remember it said, except guess what? I didn't. So try to think back. What didn't she do? Hmm. In the last chapter, what didn't Junie B do? If you need a reminder, have a chat with um, a parent or a or whoever's nearby you about what happened in the last chapter. And now we will read chapter six. It is titled, A Good Hider. When you're the very last one in line, nobody watches you. That's how come nobody saw me when I ducked behind the teacher's desk and hid. I'm a good hider. One time at Grandma Miller's house, I hid under the kitchen sink. Then I made a growl growly sound and sprung out at her. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Anyway, I stayed scrunched behind the teacher's desk for a while. And then I saw a better place to hide. It was the big supply closet in the back of the room. And so I ran to so I ran back there very fast and I squeezed onto the bottom shelf. I squeezed right on top of the construction paper. Most of me was comfortable, except my head was sort of very tight and my knees were all bended, like when I do a somersault. Then I pulled the door mostly closed. Don't shut it all the way though. I mean it, I said right out loud. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I stayed real, real quiet for lots of minutes. Then I heard noises in the hall and some of my feet came running into the room. Big people's feet, I think. What happened? I heard someone asked. One of my little girls is lost, said a voice that sounded like Mrs. Her name is Junie B. Jones, and she didn't get on the bus, so now we've got to go looking for her. Then I heard some keys jingle, and the feet went running out again, and then the door shut. I still don't come out of the closet, though. When you're a good hider, you can't come out for a very, very long time. I just stayed there all bended up. And I told myself a story, not an out loud story. I just told it inside my head. It was called The Little Hiding Girl. I made it up and this is how it went. Once upon a time, there was a little hiding girl. She was in a secret spot where nobody could find her, except her head was very tight and her brain was squishing out, but she still couldn't come out of her spot or a smelly yellow monster would get her. And also some meanies with chocolate milk. The end. After that, I rested my eyes. Resting your eyes is what my grandma does when she watches TV after dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Resting your eyes is what my grandpa does when, when he watches TV after dinner. Then he snores. And Grandma Miller says, Go to bed, Frank. It's not the same thing as a nap, though. Because <laughs> naps are for babies, that's why. And anyway, I didn't snore. I just did a little drool. <laughs> then finally, when my eyes were done resting, they woke up. And so I came out of the closet and ran right to the window. And guess what? There weren't any cars in the parking lot. And no stupid smelly bus either. Whew, that's a relief, I said. A relief is when your stomach doesn't feel squeezy anymore. After that, I went back to the closet. Because while I was hiding, I sniffed the smell of, of clay, that's why. And clay is my very favorite thing in the whole world. Hey, I see it up there, I said. The clay was in the middle shelf. I stood on a chair to get it. It was blue and stiff, 
and so I had to roll it on the floor to make it soft and warm. Then I rolled it into a blue orange. It was very beautiful, Ex except it had some dirt and hair on it. After I was done, I went to the front of the room and sat in my teacher's big chair. I like teacher's desks very much. The drawers are so big I could fit in one, I think. I opened up the top one. There was happy face stickers and rubber bands and also gold stars, which I love a very lot. I stuck one on my forehead. Then I found paper clips and red marking pens and new pencils with no points and scissors and travel tissues and guess what else? Chalk. I said, brand new chalk. That's not even out of its little box yet. Then I stood up on my teacher's chair and clapped my hands together very loud. I want everyone to find a chair and sit down. Today we are going to learn some alphabet and some reading. And also, I will teach you how to make a blue orange. But first, everyone has to watch me draw stuff. Then I went to the board and drew with my brand new chalk. I drew a bean and a carrot and some curly hair. Then I wrote some O's. O's are my best letter. After that, I bowed. Thank you very much, I said. Now you may all go out for recess, I smiled. Except for not that gym. <laughs> and our next chapter will be chapter seven, Peaky Holes and Spine. So you can make a prediction of what's gonna happen and what's going on.